Hi, friends. Welcome to Tabletop tonight. We're just enjoying the music. Um, you know, we're hanging out here. Might have been, you know, doing a little dancing or whatever. But um, anyways, welcome. It is... <laughs> we weren't dancing, were we? Maybe in my head. <laughs> oh, thanks for joining us. Folks. <laughs> yeah. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife and co-host, Michelle. Hello. Welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us. This is Tabletop Tonight. It is Taco Tuesday, folks. So we're going to chat a little bit here, like we always do. Hang out and chat with y'all. And then we're actually going to play two games tonight. Um, special occasion tonight. Um, it is the premiere of Season 12 of Tabletop Tonight. Yay! Uh, how about a round of applause? Oh. <laughs> you might need to cue me a little more today. <laughs> I'm tired. So thank you all for joining us today. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired too. Uh, GB Glazer has subscribed at Tier 1 for... Wow, seven months, GB? Thank you so much, GB. Much appreciated. We do... Um, we still do analog alerts here, folks, so that's an alert. We have a renewed subscription. Thanks to our friend, Jimmy Glazer, a longtime supporter of the channel. Much appreciated, friend. Um, folks, I, I, you know, Michelle and I were talking, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but it's crazy to think that this is 12, this is season 12, so we do a season every month. So it's been 12 months since the lockdown stay at home pandemic thing started in. crazy well yesterday in my facebook memories um um a picture that we took at um dice tower west popped up yeah so it's been a year yeah and it was um, <laughs> well me and you and and the brothers murph just you know shenanigans yeah shenanigans <laughs> at dice tower west uh, it was such a good time, and um, yeah, when you, you pointed out that memory to me, I was like, I can't believe it's been a year. Yeah. And that was actually the, I think that was the first time you met Nick and Mike, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Good guys. They're streaming right now, but thank you all for joining us. I want to shout out everyone chat. Slackfishes is here. Uh, thank you, Slackfish. Runman Gaming is here. That's Chase. Chase, thank you for joining us. He is the designer of one of the games tonight, Bandata. Um, also got Daryl B. Gaming, too. Uh, the the sequel to Daryl B. Gaming. Um, better than the original, <laughs> apparently. Uh, the new and improved. The new and improved. <laughs> uh, we also, uh, GB's here. Thank you, GB. Uh, I almost said Pretzel's here, but Pretzel Rocks is our um, <laughs> the music. jukebox. Yeah. Cohort uh, Games is here. Thank you for joining us, friend. Cohort Games is the graphic designer. They're, they're putting together the new design on... Bandada, now that it's been fully funded on Kickstarter, folks. Um, so, let's see. Cohort Games has a Moscow Mule in here. Oh, man. that's We love Moscow Mules. Well done, Cohort Games. For uh, Lauren's birthday a few years ago, we had a DIY Moscow Mule station. Oh, yeah. A little bar, right? Open, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. So, yeah. What, what was it again? It was like just all the ingredients there? Yeah. And, you know, they could. Okay. Brito's <laughs> they could, here. You know, put as much or as little of all the ingredients as they wanted to. Yeah, the that, Moscow meal. that was really neat. Uh, ben O'Seas in the house. Hi, Ben. Hope you and Steph are doing well. Uh, we've also got um, my watches in Moscow. Okay, yeah. Deadpan's in the house. Deadpan. Deadpan won a game the other day. Was it? Uh, was Which it game? The, uh, I forget. Was it the oh, game? Oh, I that remember. We're I was yeah, watching yeah. it. Were we? Was that the one we were giving away? I forget. No. No. It might have been on crystals. But um, let's Hi, see. Sweet James, boy. Deadpan. Yeah, yeah, this is Dawson. Thank you, Dawson. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Deadpan did win um, uh, Fushin. Fushin. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Fushin good. Yeah, yeah Fushin, Fushin good. good. Oh, wait. That's a different song do, in my head now. <laughs> there it is. Do, 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 do. Yeah. A little uh, salt and pepper for you. That's right. That's Start off right. your Tuesday. I keep wanting to say it's Monday, but um, we have changed schedules here, Tabletop Tonight. Um, we've cut off uh, cut out the Monday because I, I need that extra day to... I've got a bunch of uh, stuff on my plate these days, which is a good thing, um, but it, unfortunately it cuts down my availability, availability to do uh, streams here on Twitch. So we're just doing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then Michelle, when she can, join me. Again, she's busy with school and everything, um, work, um, so when we can, you know, she can join, join me, and that's a great thing. So tonight, she was able to join me tonight after we had a delicious dinner at where was it again the habit the well, habit I mean, we didn't go there but we got food from there so those of you that live in southern california and i don't know if the habit oh um, yeah is in other places but they have this really good deal where um for 25 dollars you get four char burgers four fries an order of um chicken tenders yeah 
for just all for twenty five dollars. Yeah, it, but, it's it's a really good deal. Okay, so my favorite thing from the habit is the Santa Barbara char burger, which is a pretty hefty burger, and it usually you know it has two patties in it, which totally I mean like I have to split it up, you know, I'll eat it like you know for lunch and dinner. Mm-hmm. But hey, sweet boy, Bruce um, here, but. You can order these char burgers with sourdough bread, which is what the Santa Barbara burgers are made of. And I think that the meal by itself, the Santa Barbara meal, is like $10. Yeah. But here we got four burgers, four fries, and an order of chicken tenders for 25 Yeah. It's and I changed my bread to sourdough. So it was nice just like, <laughs> yeah, it was just like having a now, Santa Barbara burger. Now, the one thing they don't do that they do on sour, um, the Santa Barbara burgers, uh, they add the avocado, which is why it's more. But oh. we have avocados at home, so it just yeah. slice a couple, of, just as good. Uh, but hey, James oh, has goodness. redeemed a Bruno treat. Hey, speaking of Bruno, Michelle's gonna get Bruno real soon. But thank you for redeeming the Bruno treat, James. Oh, there is Bruno. Boy. Yay! Hey, sweet boy. Thanks for giving Bruno a treat. Bruno's our pug, folks. Oh, there is Bruno. Boy. Let me drop some emails for Bruno. Show a little love for our pug, please. Oh. He's a good boy. <laughs> he likes that. Hey, Bruno. I sneezed earlier and he did the doggy head tilt. <laughs> and I'm like, have I not sneezed in front of you before? <laughs> There's all the bug emails. Oh, Thanks. he's making himself comfortable on yeah. my lap. Okay, you sweet boy. He is. Hey, Bruno. <laughs> you ready to play a game tonight? <laughs> I'm ready. His game, the game he, oh, he's sleeping now. <laughs> the game he loves to play is called Eating Everything. He's He's been, and he's a snack monster these days. Search for Benny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and searching for Benny the Bits Bear as well, so. What do you want to get down now? Bye, Bruno. No? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Folks, no? Taco Tuesday, let us know what's uh, happening on your end, and let us know what stream snacks you've got going. Uh, we, we just told you about our dinner, uh, you know, classic American um, burgers and fries. For stream snacks, I've got the delicious, um... Chocolate, um, peanut chocolate butter peanut cups. butter cups. Uh, where, where the, these aren't actually Reese's. They're like no, they're from Aldi. Aldi, yeah. So a big favorite here in our household. Um, the <laughs> cohort uh, Dawson was laughing at Bruno yummy. Now Bruno's licking the table. Bruno's been in this kick these this phase lately where he just either licks my arm or the table. I don't know what's going on. I, Sometimes he licks the outside of the cupboard. Yeah, <laughs> <in> the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Runman Gaming has. A, Subscribe for three months. Thank you so much, Chase. Much appreciated. That's the alert. Wow, that's three months in advance. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Chase. I really appreciate your support. Friends, we're going to be playing Bandada um, right after we played Not Dice. So Not Dice and Bandada, two uh, dice rolling games, but they're both very, uh, they're both different, way different than each other. Uh, two different types of games here that we're going to show off in just a few minutes here. I uh, want to thank you all again for joining us and hanging out. Uh, Ag 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 Air is in the house. Thank you. I gotta get those Bruno emails. Yeah. So now you should have access to Bruno emails. Drop them when you can. M and T is in the house. Thank you, friend. Um, you know, I'm gonna just because uh, Chase has redeemed or has subscribed for three. I, I've got to give Chase a few extra credits here. So why don't we give? Aww. We'll let you take Bruno for a walk. Uh, let's see. There's the Bruno walk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bruno. And then we'll, we're going to let uh, Chase give you a treat, too, Bruno. There you go. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> oh, okay. You're, oh, oh. oh you, you done? What's going I on, Bruno? I was going to lay down on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Four games fans in the house. Uh, we are going to do some Zoom trivia tonight with some friends. Oh, but I got a pregame here. Yeah, folks, thank you, Board Games fan. Thank you, P and Andrew, for dropping by. Always nice to see you here. Uh, mis amigos, miss you guys already. Hey, Cards and Dice, thanks for stopping by. Hey, if y'all didn't know, uh, well, I'm sure y'all did, or at least some of you, or most of you did. Uh, we had Tabletop Live Network 4 this past weekend. It was a big success, as always. We want to thank everyone for their support. Uh, TLN is growing and growing, and we're so happy about it. Uh, the brothers Murph and I, we are going to be talking soon to continue this journey. Um, we're going to uh, see how far we're going to take this thing. Uh, we are at the... I mean, we're, we're continuing to grow. Um, we've, we're starting to, well, at least I try to be good about delegating <laughs> and cause you know, I tend to just take on everything all at once and the brothers Murphy are the same way. We're like, okay, we need to step back a little and start giving certain tasks, mm-hmm. you know, delegating to part of our team. Uh, the whole team is wonderful. It's a big collaboration amongst content creators and we all want to see this thing succeed and it has been succeeding. Um, but 
in order to continue to get to the next level, we need to start uh, doing some stuff like uh, organizational wise and structural uh, wise that'll uh, ensure that it's sustainable. Uh, but we want to thank everyone again for your support. It means a lot to us, and it's so fun to see everyone just you know playing games and the chat is going it's a big community nothing but love and not it's like a safe diverse inclusive space that we are really uh being trying to be careful about cultivating we really want this to be a welcoming uh spot here on the, on twitch and the internet so chat y'all y'all make it happen basically we we stream our games but the the interaction and the community that that's all the chat so thank you um, Bruno. He's not sure what he wants to do. <laughs> I thought he wanted to jump down, but he doesn't. And then he started to lay on my lap. <laughs> so. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, now he wants to get down. Thank you, Weird uh, Weird Nine, uh, for. I hope Tiana was absolutely wonderful. Thank you for um, saying that. I appreciate it. Uh, let us know how we can help. Yes, Slackfish. We will. Um, We'll put the word out there. Uh, right now, it's just it's like internal stuff that we want to really get uh, nailed down, and then um, we'll go from there. But thank you, as always, friend. Uh, been nice getting introduced to new to me. Sure. Yeah, I think that's the coolest thing. Um, one of the coolest things about TLN is uh, people have been saying, hey, you know, if it wasn't for this streamer rating into this streamer or whatever, we would have never heard of them. And that's what I was excited about most. This last uh, uh, event, we had four new uh, channels uh, added. This next one coming up, we have we actually have a bunch of new channels, but we're we're at that point where like we can't fit everyone in, right. and we do want to keep it at twenty four hours. We think that's a good amount of time. We don't want to go over that right now, which we already did. We have a pre game, a pre event, <laughs> so that's an hour. So it's technically twenty five. And spoiler alert, we're gonna have like a probably probably do a wrap up show next time. So that's gonna be twenty six hours. Um, <laughs> but it's. It's neat. I, I think it's really cool that we can introduce people to other channels. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, board game spam. There, we we love what you guys are doing, what y'all are doing, and again, you get it, you know. And that's what we want for TLN people that just understand what we're trying to do as far as far as community and uh, welcome safe gaming. Um, P and Andrew definitely know what we're all about, and we're happy to have them in the fold. I don't know if we're supposed to be announcing this whatever oops <laughs> oops uh but we are going to find them uh, we don't know exactly when uh nick mike and i are still scheduling uh for the next two events um so i you know they're going to definitely be in either this one or the and or the next one we're, we're going to find those things out but we have i think like six new channels oh wow yeah and there's it's starting to back up like the backlog of uh, people who have been applying to be part of this mm -hmm. and um you know it's like it's that thing how are we gonna schedule you know we gotta figure out and the thing that makes it complicated is just the time zones you know yeah because i totally i want to watch the ones that are you know after midnight yeah. in our time zone but my my brain says no <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like last time i uh this last event i had fallen asleep right after ella started at midnight mm -hmm. and she's australia and then I, you know, I just fell asleep and I woke back up. I just, I don't know. I think, oh, it was that night, the wind, the, we had really high winds here in mm -hmm. Southern California. And it, I heard the winds knocking something on our window. That woke me up and that was like 3.30. So I was able to catch the last bit of Nerds of the West. And they're also in Australia, but I think a different part of Australia. Uh -huh. So it was really neat to see that. And they raided into Games of Fire, Karen and her, her um, daughter. And they're in the central time zone in the mm -hmm. U.S. So... Yeah, it's really neat. Um, I love being able to introduce people to new uh, streamers and, you know, getting, especially like uh, Games of Fire and other streamers who have smaller followings. It, it's neat to see that, you know, hey, the community accepts them and brings them in and they get rated, they get the high yeah. trades and they got all kinds of new followers and subscribers. Uh, that, that to me, that will never get old. That's still yeah. my favorite part is seeing uh, new channels get like a, you know, um, uh, a new audience uh gold seal hey gold seal games in the house hi gold seal uh yeah i found new three board gamers oh awesome we're nine uh, we are so stoked to join and be part of the community building in any way yes nerds of the west yes nerds of the west they 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 up the game like okay so matt of silver metal tavern when we saw that intro of his mm -hmm. like that hollywood like, yeah <laughs> if y'all didn't see him there's, there's clips out there i mean his uh, intro was amazing. It was like the Academy Awards. Like, yeah. Had the curtain, had all kinds of cool Felt effects. Felt underdressed. Yeah, totally. He's got the tux on him. Like, I got a shirt and sweats. Um, 
And then uh, late at night, uh, Nerds of the West, they're in Australia. Mm-hmm. It's uh, five, It's just a rotating group of friends. But they have it hooked up so you can spend channel points. And they have like these lights in back of them <laughs> that are like glowing red or blue. You spend your channel points or whatever, or maybe bits, and you can actually change the color in real time. It was so cool. And I love seeing stuff like that. Um, it inspires me. Like I know, like we're we're still learning the game as far as live stream. We've been doing the hosting of live stream and stuff, but me myself, um, I've been trying to learn the technical aspect. I'm I'm continually learning. The uh, Manta didn't get the the notification. Oh no! What happened? Uh, Panda's here. Uh, sorry, I'm late. I think. Oh no! Oh, I don't know what happened, Amanda. Uh, Silver Mountain Tavern killed me. Yeah, he, Matt is so funny, and he had um, uh, Dakota, Monique, and. Um, I forget the other gentleman's name. Ryan, Ryan Griffin. Yeah, they're they're so Ryan. good. Yeah, and that was the game. I know, that game they were playing, Hollywood Spotlight. It's oh. another Kinesia game. Which, oh, Ray K. Ray K. My Is boy Ray, Ray K. K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so, funny. You were you had talked about. I'm doing all the babbling tonight. You had said some stuff earlier uh, about like the opening part of the stream. The pre-event. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was just, again, just very organic. And just, I I, I think I always say this when we start talking about the Twitch community. Um, It's just a microcosm of how the world should be. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of being divisive or divisive, whatever. You know, you say, my Mm -hmm. friend says divisive. And I'm like, what Mm -hmm. are you talking about? (laughs) Divisive. Um. You know, it's the complete opposite. I mean, you're welcoming to everybody. Yeah. You know, and everybody supports everyone else. Mm-hmm. And if there's, you know, a, a bad seed, then there's not just one person that says, hey, you know, you need to cool it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's everybody. Yeah. So. It, I, it truly is a community yeah. effort, you know. And um, I appreciate you saying that because that's something that, you know, we, we told the origin story, right? Nick Nick, mm-hmm. Nick um, Murphy talked about the origin of TLN, how, you know, here in the land of Rancho Cucamonga, you know. In the garage. In the garage. <laughs> we, we literally sat there for three hours just talking about all kinds of stuff like this, and that's what led to the formation of this. And we did talk a lot about community. So, you know, it was neat to, like, I, you know, I've known, Nick for, I've known Nick for a while, but to really just get to the heart of things like we did that day, not only was it a bonding experience between friends, was all just like, you know, hey, we've got these similar goals, Mm -hmm. you know, as far as what we want to get out of the, um, you know, our Twitch experience. And to us, that just means, you know, building community and, you know, having a good time, having fun, but doing it, I feel like in the right way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's not forced. It's not like, hey, these are the rules. It's kind of like you already knew the rules because you had the common goal already. Yeah. And it's like you cultivate that by, you know, you know, would have you know moderators, including our main chat moderator Amanda Panda, you know, making sure you know that those bad actors don't you know come in and you know spoil the party, basically, the duds, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, we we do want to thank you all for um, hanging out. James is in the house. Hi, James. Thanks for always supporting us. Much appreciated. I believe Nick uh, would have said in the kooks. Yeah, that's right too. Yeah, in the kooks, the magical land uh, created by wizards. <laughs> <laughs> He is so funny. I just, uh, so that video is actually up now on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's going to get over to the uh, TLN website eventually. Um, but that talk, I think, is really important moving forward because it really captured what we're all about. And Ross, oh, Ross was fantastic too. Like when Ross was talking about community, and I mean, he had Bobby Squash with him, of course. But <laughs> Bobby Squash is the big, uh, the big uh, star of the show. But Ross Bobby Squash did not have a cardigan on. That, that's right. Yeah. Ross with his, uh, his grandfatherly uh, cardigan was great. That was very Mr. Rogers. It was. Um, all about the mutual success and affirming different voices. Gotta love that about TLN. Those who watch, uh, very generous. Everybody. Agreed. Yeah, Board Game Spam gets it, folks. That's why they're part of TLN. <laughs> they will be streaming with us soon. But hey, thank you again for joining us. This is Taco Tuesday. We've been uh, talking because it's Tuesday. And we haven't actually had tacos in a while. I think we need to do it next Tuesday. <laughs> Actually have tacos on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Staff Raccoon uh, was listening to you early on board in East LA, but wasn't like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, folks, uh, Amanda and John Gonzalez over on Bookinners, they did uh, board in East LA today. Um, yeah, I was, unfortunately, I, couldn't, I really wanted to uh, get get over there to watch the show, but I, I was just so busy. 
Yeah, I know you've been busy all day too. With your, you had like constant meetings today. All of my students showed up for their meetings, which is, you know, usually I'll have one or two that you know just don't tell me they're not coming, don't reschedule. I'm like, where are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this one, <laughs> the one that I had at one o'clock today, she usually doesn't come, and then. She she messaged me and said, can you not tell my mom that I didn't come last week? And I was like, sweetheart, <laughs> that's not how this works. <laughs> oh, so, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, so there was a little push to make her, you know, go to the meeting. Yeah. But I mean, she's just dealing with this demographic because it's a low-income demographic. And, like, technology has been an issue. Yeah. Because there's two two siblings and they're both doing distance learning and the <laughs> the one laptop that they have to share between the two doesn't charge correctly, mm-hmm. which I totally understand because I have I have one like that. Um, and you know, at first I thought she was making a whole bunch of excuses. Yeah. And, and you know, coming to find out, you know, after just talking with her, I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Okay, but sweetie, you need to figure out how you're going to get this done because this is not, you know, this yeah. is not how you're going to succeed. Right. Hey, uh, Time Rolls in the house. Thanks for joining us, Time Roller. Good to see you on here. Steph Raccoon is also in the house. Hi, Steph. Um, yeah, so, well, hopefully the rest of the week continues to be good to both of us and all of us here. I've been, like, super tired Excuse since me. I got the, the yeah. first dose of the vaccine. Oh, that's right, so yeah. I've been, like, well, mo- mostly Sunday, and, mm-hmm. you know, I think part of that was, you know, the TLN stuff and yeah and is your arm still hurting no it's not hurting anymore okay. but I was just like out yeah yeah she was, <laughs> I was she out definitely of commission that. on yeah. Sunday yep. but you know I hear that means it's working yeah the vaccine's working that's so right. okay. that's a good thing hopefully everyone's getting those in line for that vaccine I know I'm not on priority list but I will be first in line when I am you're uh, when I can always my priority thank you <laughs> Let's move on to the game, shall we? Whoop! There it is, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks. Check this... it to record. Let's begin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got bandana. That's going to be coming up later. So we're going to take this off the table for now. Don't you feel like you have to say bandana? Bandana. Yeah. Like lambada. Lam- like uh, Antonio Bandaras. <laughs> lambada is the forbidden dance. <laughs> GV Glaze, I had to miss most of TLN while getting dose one. Oh, okay, seemed like a decent reason. Yeah, absolutely, GV. For sure. That's great. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you got it. Um, ah, not dice, some lovely things, yes. Ben, have you played this before? Uh, let us know. So we've got, thanks to our friend uh, Matthew O'Malley uh, from Black Oak Games. Matthew O'Malley, folks, Matt O'Malley is the designer of one of my favorite games last year, The Search for Planet X. And he has created uh, these games here, not dice be- based on Celtic designs and uh this is the expansion squared we're gonna play the original not dice here for now Ooh, two games i haven't seen before oh we're done cool 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 let me know if you have any questions about not dice yes there is um the publisher right there in chat folks so if you have questions let us know yes we got a oh ben has a double set nice Ooh, fancy yeah so here they are again based on celtic designs uh this is the first time that michelle will be playing so i'm going to be teaching it so thankfully we have the publisher here we're gonna do a couple of different things. So the not dice are can be used to do uh, several things actually, uh, several different types of games. Uh, you can do puzzles and uh, a bunch of other stuff too. So here it's eighteen, a set of eighteen. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, Kells, a cooperative game. Okay. So what Kells is, it's uh, for one to three players. Uh, so what we're trying to do is. The theme is your illustrators creating a page for the Book of Kells. Uh, cooperate with your p- partners to include as many dice as possible in a complete Celtic and not design. And let's look at these dice. So they are six-sided dice. They're they're bigger than standard six dice, and these are really nice. Um, and they're going to have a couple of different shapes here. We have this one here. The um, This is called the Sharp Corner. Okay. I wonder if I should throw this up on here. Um... Okay, there's a sharp corner, and then we have the chain. Okay, so I'm going to go through all six of these. So, sharp corner, chain, 
Uh, chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. <laughs> That's an old Celtic song. Um, <laughs> not really. Don't listen to me, folks. Um, I also have the rounded corner. So we had sharp corner, round the corner. So, oh, end cap. That's what we need. The end cap. Here's the end cap. Uh, this is the chain, rounded corner, sharp corner. Uh, and then the branch, which is this one. And on the sixth side is the crossing. Okay. So as you, you're going to put these together, uh, for instance, you can have a end cap and a chain together. And you'll notice, it's almost got this, if y'all played Suro before, it's almost got this Suro type uh, thing where you're trying to make a little path and see how that sort of loops around mm -hmm. together. And to close this off, I would do this. See, so it's like a Celtic knot. Okay. Very cool. Very cool, right? And then you have other ways, you know, you can have stuff like this. I don't know if that's, oh, is that showing up? Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, and then maybe something like that. And then another one. So, what determines, like, what dice you put together? Oh, that's a great question. So, um, I'm just showing, like, the little the ways. Different patterns. Different patterns, yeah. And so, there's several different games, which is neat. So, here's the rule book, folks. There's actually two books. You get one for the different games. You, oops. You get one for the different games you can play with not dice. Okay? There's actually, like, ones that you could stack. And then you have... A second book for puzzles okay so you can play competitively cooperatively or you can just do puzzles and you can do a puzzle together or by yourself really neat um, we're gonna start with a cooperative game called Kells and what we're gonna do is place all dice in the pool of the, to the um, we'll, we'll put them here okay, let me get this paper out of the way. And then what Michelle and I are going to do are take two dice and just roll just them. Just random? Yep, random. They're all the same. Oh, okay. Just roll them and put them in front of you, like so. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to build a puzzle here um, in the middle. And on your turn, you're going to take any one of these dice and roll it, adding to your um, pool. So you're going to have three dice to choose from. Oh. And what you do, you're just going to add it to the middle. Okay, okay. so there's nothing in the middle, obviously, right now. Uh, but what we're trying to do is get all the way to the end... Uh, using all the dice, and the way it's scored is this. So if there are 18 dice, we're going to look at the longest side. Like, for instance, this is 7, and you're going to add it to the longest side here, which is 4, so you have a score of 11. And then this is, um, again, I'm, I'm going to butcher this, but I, Cothram is fair. You want to get at least 13, that would be excellent. 10 or less, I, I don't know this, but it, you need work, basically. <laughs> Okay. Try again. Try again, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is Kel's A Cooperative Game. Uh, we're trying to complete the Celtic Knot design uh, without discarding all dice, uh, without discarding three dice. So, if on your turn you cannot place a die, you discard one of them out of the game. If you mm. discard three total, you lose the game. Oh. And that includes at the end. Well, so, like three between us? or Yeah, three total, oh. yeah. So we want to try to go as far as we can. Uh, com and we've got a complete, if you'll notice here, this is a complete design. Like there's no open uh, loops, right? You want to have it all complete. Oh. Yeah, so it's not as easy as it seems. I used to, uh, uh, Dawson says, I used to doodle Celtic knot work like this on my math graph paper in college. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. Yes, we got a double set in the awesome. Okay, so Michelle, um, I'll tell you what, I'll start. Okay. I'll... You just choose one from here, add it here, and then you start, um, or I'll start this. So we'll do that. Now it's your turn. And you choose any one to add to our design here. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I roll one. Okay. I think I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go this way. Just to open it up a little bit. Maybe I want this. Okay. Oops. Ah, this is like the crossing one, or whatever it's called. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to go... So again, I could not do this because that road is blocked off here. But you, but you got to continue the pattern. So I'll oh. do it right here. Right? Okay. Staff Raccoon, it is a beautiful game. Okay. Um, wait, could I do yeah. that? Yeah. Right. Are you sure? Well, yeah, because then it would continue either this way or that way. Yep. Okay. Nice. I think I'm getting thrown off, too, because I see the, the stuff that's on the other side of oh, the yeah. die. Oh, yeah. 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 It's really important to look straight down. So I could do this here. Right? Actually, it actually helps to look at the screen. Oh, excuse me. So we'll look at the screen to make sure it's all good. Yep, because this one goes here. Okay, yeah, that's actually better. Right? <laughs> so that I can't see any of the other sides. Whoops. Okay. Um, huh. Okay, so... I don't know. I don't want to screw it up. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, like that? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like it's going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being very gentle. Maybe I'm going to do this. So we need like a corner one to cut that. Like if we can get this one here, that would be nice. Okay. Do I have that? No. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that going to work? Let's see. Put it there. Hey! Oh, it's, there's an open thing at the bottom. That's okay, because we can... Hopefully we can uh, close that up. Okay, what if I do... Yeah, that works too. That... Okay, so it leaves this one open, this yeah. space open. So we've got this space open and this space open. Okay. Steph says we have a scented candle from Cantrip Candles that is inspired by the library at Trinity College Dublin, where the Book of Kellis is. So now we need to play this game and burn the candle. Oh, yes. nice. Uh, so I just close this off. Okay. So we have one opening here. Okay, so once it's closed off, then we're done. Yeah. Okay, so we still want this open. Is that the only one that's open? Uh, this is open here. That's the only one? Yeah, okay. for now. So, yeah. Um, oh, I need to roll one. Yeah. Okay. So that's a bridge one. That's going to open it up more, which is, which is actually good. Because then... Okay. Redman Game says this looks like a great solo game. I'll already add it to my list. Yeah, I'm I'm digging it too. And again, this is just one of uh, several games, folks. There's one that it's like a dexterity style. Like I mean, you're going to be building three dimensionally. We'll do a couple other ones too before we play um, Bandada. Um, Bandada. Bandada. <laughs> so I'm gonna, oh my gosh, open this one. So now that it's one, two, three are open, I do have a closing oh. one here. I can close that off. Okay. I have one of those, too. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're going to have to start thinking about closing. Give me the closer. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So okay, how many so closing do we these. have? I have one closing. I have this one? I don't... You no, know, those are... Oh, yeah, you have, we both have two closings amongst us. Which means I don't think... Oh, you know what? I think we can re-roll. Yeah. Let me see yeah. what happens if I do this. Okay. Oh, that's just going to open up two more. Right. I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, if there are no more dice in the pool, you may re-roll one of your own dice instead. Okay, so maybe I don't want to do this Oh, yeah, one. thank you, uh, Agar. Okay, so... Yeah, that's going to open this one and this one. You want to go ahead and close one off? And yeah. And then I'll try to close one off, then we can start re-rolling our dice. Okay, how about I do this? Okay. Okay, so that one's closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, so we've got two more to close. I've got to close. I'm going to try to roll a closer right here. Okay, that's not it. So I'm going to go here. All right, so... We just have this one to that's close That's the off. only one open? Yeah. Okay. So you may re-roll. Um, it, it says here, if when there are no more left to take, you can re-roll one of the ones in front of you before placing them. Okay. Okay. Need a closer. And I can imagine a few people I know who would like this game for how intuitive it is. Yeah. Okay, I got a closer. I, is that a... This one, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that going to close? Oh, no. It's going to open... Oh, it's actually, so it's going to open... One more. One okay. more. Oh, well, that's okay, That's right? okay, because then I can <laughs> roll this. Oh, so that's going to... I think that's going to hose us. Yeah, because one thing's going to be open, one side's going to be open. You only have one die, right? Yeah. You can choose to discard one out of the game, so, okay, so I'm going to choose to discard this. Oh, the pressure. Okay, so... <laughs> If you can get a closing, this one here. Oh, that's tough. Because that's basically. That's the only one that will close it. Yeah, one out of six shot. Okay. Good All luck. right. <laughs> Come on. Uh, oh. So discard that one. Okay. So we discarded two, which means we are eligible to win. However, we did not complete the design. Uh, so if you use up all the dice from the pool but do not complete the design, or you discard three or more dice, including the dice discard when you complete the design, you lose. So we're one away from here. But uh, Steph says, I love the satisfaction, satisfaction of making the patterns. Agreed. Yeah. Just a beautiful game, right? So that is, well, Boo Earns. We lost that. That's a cooperative game. Uh, Kells. Uh, now we're going to move on to the game Not So Fast. Okay. okay I'm just going to go grab some water. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. <laughs> I'm already done with mine. No way. No worries. Okay, so folks, while Michelle takes a quick break, I'm going to look over the rules. So this has been the first game of many in the Not Dice uh, game catalog here. So this one is not so fast. It's a two-player game. Uh, your treasure hunter is collecting pieces of Celtic artifacts. Find and complete more artifacts than your opponent. So each player is going to get six or four dice. Two, three, four. And then Michelle gets four there. And then in the center, we put nine dice. Six, eight, nine. And this one's out of the game. Uh, this is a real-time game. We're going to be uh, rolling simultaneously and trying to complete patterns. Okay. Uh, we're going to go until we lose all of our dice to complete a not design on the top face of the dice. Um, so let me get the green screen out. These are some examples, right? So this one is okay. This is not because it's not complete. Same with this. Uh, you may rotate and rearrange your dice as much as you want by sliding them on the table, but you may not change the face except by rolling them. Okay, my husband usually tries to avoid playing dice games with me because I always roll well, but a co op? <laughs> yeah, maybe I can talk to him. Yeah, I feel like you can. Like this one, it's real chill. It's got that really, you know, nice puzzly vibe to it that Michelle and I really enjoy. Um, and then, so for th this game, um, the play stops when the last die is taken from the center of the table. The player with the most dice wins. In case of a tie, the player, time players play one final challenge. Okay, so uh, we're going to roll and pick as re-roll as many dice as you want to complete knots. Um, and then when you complete your design, you redel out or call out not done. K-O-N-A-T. Cannot done. Cannot done. <laughs> uh, everyone stops, checks your design. If you did complete your design, Take a die from the center of the table, and then you continue. Then everyone takes all their dice and starts again. Okay. So this is a real-time game, babe. Uh, you start with four. I start with four. And we're just... So can you say all that all over again? Yeah, yeah. So you're going to roll all your dice, and you're what you're trying to do is complete um, a knot, a okay. pattern. So you're going to you know, do stuff like this and try to complete it. So you have to have all closed. All closed, yeah. Here, just... Here's some examples here. So, for instance, this L-shaped one, that's a complete, because it's completely okay. knotted. Uh, these two are not. K uh, these are N-O-T, not knots. <laughs> not K knots. <laughs> yeah, not knots. Not knots. Uh, because you can see here, this one is not complete here, and this one goes off there. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And if you get if you ever get stuck, yes, then you just re-roll your dice until you can uh, do that. Um, okay. Like, you can, like, if I had this, then I can re-roll three, and I'll do that then hey that would have been done boom 
<laughs> Look at that, folks. Game over. Game over. <laughs> so what, if I had done that, then I say cannot done or not done. You check to make sure it's all good. And then I take um, one die from the middle. Um, and then we just re-roll and do it again. So would I also take another die? Nope, just the the, um, the player. Wait, if you did complete, take a die, then everyone... Nope, I, I only the winner of that round gets another die. Uh, the play, the game ends when the final die is taken from the middle. So oh. it's like you're going to be a growing thing. And the player who has the most dice wins. So do you re-roll all of them or just the new oh. one that you got? Uh, all of them. Okay. Okay. So right. like you're starting over. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe I can talk. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, folks. So this is not K N O T. Not oh, so fast. There's a die over there. Oh yeah. Oh, this one's uh, out of this game. There's only supposed to be nine in the middle. It says oh, okay. a discard that one. Okay. Uh, so here we go and begin. Serious. Cannot done. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now I take a f another one, and then we start over. Oh, I roll yeah. mine all over. Oh, okay. But now I have five. Okay. Oh, I don't have a thing. Okay, so this one, it's open, so I can still re-roll it. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can always re-roll stuff. Uh, this is not going to work. Oh, that's not going to work. I keep getting oh, open God. ones. Yeah. Okay, here's a corner. Oh, I'm not going to do this. Cannot done. Okay, that looks good. Take a okay. fifth. And the next round, folks. Hope for the big snake. There it is. Nope. One more. Oh, then how? There it is. Done. Uh, cannot done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's so totally I feel like that's the only one. Well, that's one of the few solutions for the five. Uh, let me put this here. Okay. okay. So now we go. <coughs> oh, my God. Look at this roll. Nah. Yeah, one more. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy moly. Could not done. Are you okay. I don't want to re-roll mine. <laughs> Let Michelle take all the time she needs to make the pretty patterns. <laughs> That's right. Ben gets me. <laughs> Put mine up there so I can see it. No. Okay. Oh, this is not going to work. Um. Oh, that's going to leave me with the open one. Not done. Is this? Let me make sure. Is that right? Yeah, you have all closed yeah. edges. Cool. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm still like, I don't know, my brain's not. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> okay. So there's an edge, there's an edge, and there's an edge. Oh, no, that's I'm going to do what you did. Yeah, just go for the long, <laughs> the snake. <laughs> I'm just going to keep rolling it until I get it. Yep. There it is. Boom. There it is. Not it's done. not. Go ahead. I'm just going to keep rolling it until I get that one. Okay. My brain's not seeing the other one. Okay, so there's an edge. There's an edge. Um, 
any of the corners can go in a snake pattern as well. No need for it to be all straight. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And my brain's not seeing it. <laughs> I don't know. So funny. Should it be a not done? Let me check. Or you should check because the rules say you check. This one's here. Yeah, it looks like you're, you're all closed. Okay, grab another one. Yeah, I can see it easier on yours. I know, right? Yeah, that was totally me earlier. Oh. Just doing a big snake <laughs> one. is what I was trying to do earlier. I'm not even sure. Okay, I'm just going to re-roll all of this. So if I do... No, that's not going to work. Hmm. No. Not. Did you get it too? No. No. Okay. Check mine. I think it's all. Yeah. Good. Okay. Cool. I cool. don't want no. Look at how close I am. <laughs> Go ahead. No, that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> But I was really supposed to re-roll all of mine, right? Yeah. Okay. They're not not. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. Uh, go ahead okay. and take that. Yeah, we'll re-roll yeah. all of them. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, I would win the game because I have more yeah. dice. But let's let's complete this round. I, I want to see. Yes, I'm determined. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Okay. This goes here. No. Oh, that's not going to work, though. Does that work? No, because I'm open here. That's not going to do it. Nope. Got to change no, things. Open. I can totally see it better on the, the screen. Yeah. I, I think I get distracted by seeing the sides. Yeah. Oh, and my other one is open here. <laughs> okay. Well, let me do something else here. Okay. I think I got this one. Let me see. Yeah. Cannot done. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at mine. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're done. Please. Okay. Yeah, um, go ahead and do... I'm still do. open here. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and... Yeah, no worries. Talk with the chat. <laughs> yeah, so chat. Yeah, that, that's not fast. So... Again, what I like about this, there's several different games, so you don't have to play the real-time game. You could do the chill, like, puzzle game. Uh, there are, I mean, there are a bunch of games in here. And we haven't even busted out. There's, like, ones that use, like, you know, extra pieces. It has, like, a, you know, uh, extra pieces here that you're going to use. Um, I am also looking at, let's see, Completion Puzzles 1. So this is a neat way. Michelle, if you can take four, any four dice... And um, let me see, completion, creation puzzles. Let's look at the puzzle book here. What? So we're not going to do this one. This is the building puzzle. This is pretty interesting. So you're going to actually build level one, level two, where you're trying to match the faces. The, um, in uh, a stack. All the way around? I believe so. Oh. On the top of the dice. But oh, the, on the top. Okay. Yeah. And then the creation puzzle. This is a cool little way. So you take four dice and of those shapes right there right so let's start with 4a that's going to be the rounded corner so take uh, go ahead and just take four dice and then find those rounded corners is that no that's not a rounded corner okay and this is probably you know now that i think about it so okay 
full disclosure, I have a I had a, a little leg up on Michelle here because I did before we went live, I, I went through the game and learned it and so I got used to these um yeah. faces. Yeah, right? So <laughs> What you do then, as a completion puzzle, what you're just trying to do is create a uh, vertical and horizontal symmetrical Celtic knot designed from these dice. So how would you do that? You just go ahead and, you know, boom. There it is. It's like solving a Rubik's Cube. It is. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and uh, do that. Oh. Where I'm gonna, I'll get us set for the next one. We're going to be doing Do this. they, like build off of each other no what they do it's basically like little challenges so for the next challenge you're going to have these dice here okay uh, this yeah extra one? yeah so you're going to have these five dice and now same thing can you complete a symmetrical um well that one's easy because the four go around the the center one. Oh, okay let's go ahead and show it off there Nice, nice. Okay. And then let's go next is the eight. So we're going to get four of these um, sharp corner and then four of the, uh, I forget what it's called, four of the chain. Is this the sharp corner? Yes. Okay. And the ch ch chain <laughs> is that one. So four of each. It's that one. Why am I having so much trouble finding the last one? There it is. And then the chain. Check, check, chain. So check, that's check, chain. that's what it should look like. Good lord. <laughs> you really did have a leg up. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, you're done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great West Coast swing song. Uh, now I need to go. Oh, Dawson wants to go dancing already. Nice. Okay, so now let's try to make a, a, or a symmetrical design using these. Um. <laughs> well, mine's symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a Celtic knot. It's not a knot. Oh. Uh. But, uh, I mean, yeah, so this is, these are just called creation puzzles, folks. There are also completion puzzles, which are. How did you do, okay, so the corners. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, so, again, we have, there. there is seriously, let me see how many games they have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 different games that you can play. And then there are, as you can see, there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different types of puzzles as well. So just with this one set of 18 dice, you're going to get a ton of play out of this. And we haven't even looked at the expansion, folks. The expansion, uh, not dice squared. Right? So we got a little more squared stuff here. Again, the rules and stuff. We're not going to go through this one tonight uh, due to time. But uh, the rules and everything are underneath the here. You have the extra tokens. Same basic concept, and you can add, you will be adding this to the base game as well. Oh, yeah. And then you have that there. But let's do one more, and then we're going to go to Bandada uh, again. I want to thank uh, Matthew O'Malley, Matt O'Malley, uh, and Black Oak uh, Games for sending this over. Really dig it. Um, let's move on to the final part of this part of our show here. Um, let's do a. Completion puzzle number one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're each going to get nine dice. And this is something you can play solo as well. Uh, there's oh. eight, nine, nine. And we're going to make this shape here. I'm going to leave it on the screen just so it's easy for us to see. Uh, this one is a three by three letter A. So we're going to take a sharp corner. And then next to that, a bridge, which is this one. So sharp corner, bridge, and then the crossing, which is that, and then the second row. Is this a bridge? Uh, bridge is it's, it sort of looks like a bridge going over. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to be turned on its side. So I'm I'm just going left to right from the book here. 
Okay. And then the second row, we're going to get another sharp corner. Okay, but it's going to be pointing up. And I believe that next one is a bridge going the opposite way, like this. And then we're going to get another bridge standard way, like that. Okay, I'm doing vertical. Did I do it right? Oh, okay, so I'm looking at um, this here. So we have sharp corner going down, and then bridge on its right side, and then the um, crossing like this. So these are the top three you should have. I can't see if mine... Well, I'm doing mine vertically. <laughs> Wait, what? This way. Because you have three... Oh, got it, got it, got it. Three okay. cubes, right? Cool. But I can't see because the book's in the way. Okay. Here, I'll put the book here. Oh, now we can't see it. Okay, so yeah, you did. Yeah, you, you did it right. I did. <laughs> okay, so let me finish mine then. Oh, wait, you have one more okay. column. So this one goes here, right? Yep. Okay, and then that's this one. And then this one. With my match? Yeah, we should all match. Let's check it out. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. It is good. All right. Okay. So that's the start of the puzzle, folks. What we do now, you can swap. So what you're trying to do is make another Celtic knot, right, with the whole thing. But what we're going to do is there are two rules that you can do. You can swap two dice on the outer edges, like this one for this one, right? That's called swap. So any two that are on the outer edge, you can change places. Okay. The other thing you may do is take an entire row or column and move it to the opposite side. So you can go like this to this, or you can go like mm -hmm. this to this. Okay. So again, full disclosure, I did do this uh, earlier today, or last night actually. The key is you got to get this in the middle, right? So. Oh wait, so so <clears throat> this was just the starting thing, and then yeah, we're gonna have oh! to make <laughs> we have to make a Celtic knot. I was wondering why there were open edges. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's our job to complete this puzzle. So I would go like this. You can swap any two on the outer rings like oh, this. I was going to say, how are you going to get that yeah, the oops. middle one in the center? You know what this reminds me of? Those little like party favorites oh, you yeah, yeah. when you were a kid. And you have the to sliding make, puzzles? Yeah, yeah. with the little squares. Yep. Okay. So you swap those. I'm going to do that too. Yep. So and then, then I'm going to swap these. So my oh, other. no, no, no. So you no. cannot swap in the inner, um, the inner one. It's only the oh. outer ones you can swap. Oh. Yeah. So that's where you do the translate um, thing, which is take this row or column and go like that. So now you have that piece in the middle. Okay. okay. And then, yeah, and then same thing. You're either going to do rows or columns or trade um, the outers. Until you have yeah. all the, the edges closed. Yes, and you cannot rotate dice like this. They have to remain where they are. So just right off the bat, I'm going to take this one and swap it with this one. So I want those corners, right? Uh -huh. There's four corners here. Yeah, you know what I think I did. Oh, run, run, thank you. Good eye. Michelle's top center die, yep, got okay, rotated. so should it be that way? Is Let's that see, what yeah, I did? This one, this one, it'll be going... Um, this way. Correct. Uh, no, because this one's this way. Okay, yeah. So, so I that. have this way. It'll be pointing that way. Nice. Okay. Cool. Good eye, folks. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to continue. We'll just continue on our way here. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to swap this one. Whoops. And whoops. I, I think I'm going to keep, like, turning them. Okay. This is kind of Rubik's Cube-like yeah. as well. And the top center also, so which, is it supposed to go that way? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Basically, um, 
uh, after you make that first move, it looks like you just start swapping stuff until you get the corners there. Okay, so is that what you're doing first, is swapping the corners? Yeah, or I getting, to, the, corners yeah, getting the corners there? Yeah, getting the corners. Okay, so now I can I can kind of see where we're going here. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to swap these two. You. I think it helps too when you know what you're. Yeah. Your the piece is aiming nice. For. Okay. There it is. GG. See, I can do a Rubik's cube. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. So that is those are the not dice, folks. Again, we just gave you a very small sample of this. This one is a keeper for us, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like right. This, this, I like these kind of games. Yeah. But this is Michelle's jam, these type of puzzles. Uh, let me get back here. So, again, thank you to uh, Black Oak Games for the copies. Really appreciate it. We're, I can't wait till Lauren tries it. I think Lauren will like this, too. Yeah. Our, our daughter's into these type of games as well. So, thank you again. That is not dice, folks. You can check that out at blackoakgames.com, um, I believe, is the website. And we're going to play some Bandada next. I'm going to uh, let little dog out. Okay, bye Bruno. So there are the two rule books. Uh, this is just two rule books, one for puzzles, one for dice, or I mean for um, games. And same thing with not dice squared. Well, we, we, may have to, we may have to revisit this one further down in the future. Uh, That's a nice one to like, you know, when you take a break. You know when you do your forest app? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, your, totally. Your five-minute break, which, you know, I think for me that might take a little longer than five minutes. <laughs> but, you know, just so you're not on the screen. Yeah, and I, I just, I really find it um, really just peaceful. Yeah, you know, very just zen. Very zen, yeah. You just got the, trying to get the knots and stuff, so. Uh, let's get Bandana set up here. Um, this one, Bandana, folks, this is on Kickstarter right now. It has been fully funded. So kudos to Chase and um, Bandana for um, funding. Uh, let me get this here. Right. Right. So can get this here. Bandana. This is a score, a little scoring thing. Um, Michelle, would you like to be yellow or blue? So what is it that you can see best? I'll um, take the other one. I'll go with yellow. Okay. So yellow and blue, that's the scoring tokens. We'll talk about those later. GB um, Glazer says, by the by, happy season 12. I'm sure y'all talked about it earlier. Yes. But had to step out. Thank you, GB. Appreciate it. Yes. Isn't that nuts? 12, 12 months we've been doing this, folks. We started on March 18th of last year. And had no idea what we we're going to be doing, that we we're going to be doing this long. Um, so we're very grateful for y'all your support. Thank you so much. Um, this goes away here, and this will go here. Have a good night, GB. By the way, thank you for. Uh, or wait, I'm sure y'all talk about. I had to step out. Oh, cool. No, no, no worries. Hang out. All right. So bandada. Let me get the instructions here. So. Bandada is a Spanish word for a number of birds traveling together. So I guess like a... A flock. Flock, yeah. Um, I'll let you know. Do you call birds a flock? Like a flock mm. of seagulls, flock, but... Right? <laughs> you know, that would be a great name for a band. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, name a band. <laughs> um, so what you're trying to do is gather up birds and score them. It's a four-round game. It's a cool 15 to 20-minute game. If you didn't see it earlier or last week on Wednesday, um, Becca Scott and I did, had this as part of our Good Looking Kickstarters. Um, we That's a bi-weekly series where Becca and I talk about games that have caught our eye on Kickstarter that we really um, think or that we just uh, enjoy and they're good looking, right? Good looking Kickstarters. Uh, this is one that I chose uh, because I... Again, I got to play it thanks to uh, Chase and um, Runnerman Games for sending over a copy, and I I insta backed it. I mean, it's it's just a really solid little game. I mean, I don't like to use the word little because I love small box games. You we we both do, mm -hmm. and but the gameplay is just rock solid. Um, it's like a card drafting slash engine builder. Um, so we'll talk about this. And Becca actually made a, a nice little point when we we're talking about it. She was saying it's almost got a little feel, like obviously with the birds of wingspan, uh, got that sort of like mini wingspan feel of like engine building, but 
is different because uh, the dice, it's all about dice manipulation in this game. Um, <laughs> I was like, Wingspan Jr. <laughs> yeah, Wingspan Jr., right? Uh, and Chase, or I mean, uh, yeah, um, Dawson is in the house, um, and he is going to be redoing the graphic design and things. So this is, again, folks, this is just a prototype. Um, gorgeous, but it's going to be look even better. Uh, let's so we do one, two, three cards, and on your turn, uh, so the dice have been rolled. On your turn, you're going to choose one of these birds. For instance, this one, you're going to immediately do the action, okay? And what this says is give three points, or give three blue dice plus one. So. You choose three of the blue dice to give a plus one. So this one would be a two. This one, say, if would be a four. And they do roll over. So if you give a plus one to a six, it now becomes a one. Okay? So you do the action. Then you immediately score it. Uh, this bird says you get one victory point for every six. So I have a six here. If I didn't change this, if I change this to one, then boo earns. I don't get a point. But I would get a point for the six, and then I would get a point for this six and this six. So you'd get three points there. Okay? That's, you immediately score it. And then, this goes into your bandada. Right there. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to move the box over here. It goes my bandada. And that's going to score every round until the end of the game. Okay? So Michelle would take her, oh, well, we'd refill this. Michelle would take one, same thing. She would do the action, change the dice, and then score. And then she would score it immediately. And now at the end of the round, we're going to score all the cards in our bandada. Did I say it? Yeah, bandada. Okay. Bandada. Bandada. So, on the first turn, obviously, we just score the same card. But on the second and third rounds, we're going to have more. You go until the very end, and then the most points wins. Now, uh, that's the basic game. There are additional goals. We're not going to use this for this first uh, game, but there are hidden scoring goals as well. You, we're going to get one of these at random. Okay. And there are little player pow powers as well. You're going to randomly get a uh, beeple. And whatever color it matches, like let's say I pulled the uh, black one and Michelle pulled pull the blue, that allows you to manipulate dice. Um, you can either add one or subtract one to any one die by placing that worker there. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Or you can use the um, meeples to uh, swap out birds. But we're not going to use that. We're just going to play the basic game first here, folks. Uh, that is the game. It's a, Again, It's I. this is why I, I, I insta-backed it, because... It is so easy to learn and teach, yet it's thinky. It is way more thinky than you think. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. that was oh, just... <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Michelle has rolled the dice. Um, well, I didn't roll them. I just kind of... Oh, you just... Okay. You want to give them Organize them. Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and roll and organize. Here. Hey, Games of Fire is raiding, folks. Thank you, Games of Fire. Oh, wow. Thank you for raiding. Let me get the raiding hat on. Games of Fire is in the house. Thank you for raiding, Games of Fire. What did you all play? How was it? Hope you're doing well. Games of Fire was part of our awesome TLN4 um, celebration this weekend, part of the event. Uh, Games of Fire, Karen and her um, daughter were so cool to see them playing games together. And uh, we want to thank Karen and her daughter for being part of it. And con as we continue on, You'll probably you will most likely see her again real soon. So, uh, thank you, Karen, for the raid. Appreciate it. What do y'all play? Let us know. Welcome, Anne nine seven one seven Legends DMs in the house. Um, Anne nine one seven one seven Games of Fire Jaipur. Nice, an excellent two player game. Karen Games of Fire. This hat is for you. Much love. Thank you so much for the raid. There's the hearts. Got the little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> the big hearts. The big hearts. <laughs> Meeple Grande is in the house, too. Thank you, Meeple Grande. We had so much fun. Yay! Two-Player Tuesday. Hashtag two-player. That's awesome. Yes. And, hey, we're going to continue the hashtag two-player Tuesday. We played Not Dice earlier. Now we are playing Bandada, which is now on Kickstarter. Thank you again, Games of Fire, for the raid. Let's get back to the... Um, whoops. Where am I going? Let's go back here. And uh, Games of Fire, this is for you. We're going to have uh, you take Bruno for a walk. Thank you for walking, <laughs> Bruno. Folks, you can uh, take Bruno for a walk by spending those uh, channel points. And we're going to... Why don't we... Uh, let, let's give him a treat, too. You can also give Bruno a treat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know why we get such a kick out of that. <laughs> or at least I do. Uh, Michelle, would you like it's to... Bruno. It is. Would you okay. like to go first? Yes. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. What do I do again? Okay. Uh, what you do, you're going to pick a card... Okay. And do the action, and then score it, and then add it to your bandana. 
Okay. Um, so I get a feather for same colored pair. And there aren't any. Uh -oh. But reroll two black or reroll one blue and one yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I am. Mm, excuse me. Go. Well, no. Huh. Okay, because this one says sets of three in any color. Yep. So. Mm, excuse me. I think I might do that. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to take. Um, one black and one yellow. Okay. And here. Good luck. Gracias. Okay. Okay. So, now sets of three in any color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a five, five, and a five. Okay, that's okay. one set. Um, no threes, no twos, no fours. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Let me show this on the okay. screen. So Michelle has... Pick this card. She rerolled the one black and one yellow, and she had one set of three in any color. Oh, zero I don't points. get anything. Oh, oh blue. I feel like I worked for that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Five, five, five. And then three. three. There's no three here. Oh. There's no two here. Oh, no. There's no four oh, here. So oh, but no. there's another five. Does that count? <laughs> no. Well, five. here's the thing you didn't score it this turn, but you may score it at the end of the round, mm. depending on what I do. Okay. So, now I'm going, let's see, flip one black, so that you, when it says flip, you flip it to the opposite side, and then I get one point per even yellow. So I got two even yellows here. I can re-roll, okay. Uh, oh, w one per same colored pair. So there's one pair there, which one rolled but two black. that's kind of what, oh wait, no, that's yeah, the one I looked at kind, before. Yeah. yeah. Flip one yellow and one black, and then one point for every one. So that'd be two points. Um, I could get one point for every even yellow two. Reroll two, one for same colored pair. So we got a pair here. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. You can still get big points in future rounds. Run man games said, yeah. If anyone knows, it's run man games. So reroll two black, or reroll one blue and one yellow. And I'm trying to get uh, same colored pairs. So gotta get one point per. So I'm going to re-roll um, a blue or a yellow and a blue. Come on, okay. Five, which is no good. Four, which helps me. So I have a same colored pair of fives. Oh wow! And a same colored pair of fours. So one, two points for yellow. And then the end of the round, <coughs> we score our cards again. Um, so now, take a look at it now. Take a look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> little Phil Collins for you. How do you like that? I looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> like against all odds. What's up? <laughs> uh, I, we're totally okay. dating ourselves, folks. I, you know, if y'all don't know Phil That's Collins. So um, anyways. <laughs> oh, wow. This is not going to help me at all. No? So there's two, but there's no two here. Four. There's no four here. But there's two fours there. Sets of three in any color? Yeah, so oh. one, two, three. I thought it had to be. No, no, you're yeah, Okay, okay. So that's one, and then one, two, three. So that's two. Which one? Um, The fives. Okay, fives, five, that's one, five, five. one and set then, of triples. Yep. So it's a the, five, five, right? And then you need another set of three of a kind. So four and four. That's two. Anything else? Two, no, okay. three, no. Okay. So you got two that time. How many do you get? How many points? Two. Two points for Michelle. We are tied. And then I score mine again. I get for every same colored pair, I've got one, two, so another two points. So four. Okay. Um... Listen to Phil Collins for the time. I'd be a real, it'd be a real Genesis. <laughs> GB, GB, thank you. You get us. You get us, GB. What did you say? Feel it coming to the air tonight, nice Dawson. I think that there was a, um, I don't know if it was a TikTok click clock. Uh huh. Whatever. Um, there were some youngins listening to Phil Collins. Oh, that's right. And yeah. like he made a comeback, 
Whose song was that? It was one of the drums. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 in the, the air tonight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the, the best drum fill in the history of music. Oh, oh hello, hey, sweet Bruno. boy. Come here. Oh, okay, so now the cleanup phase, folks. We just, you you know, put up a new card. Oh, it says uh, discard the remaining two. Okay, discard the remaining two. And then this is the first, second, and third one. Yeah, drop some emotes for Bruno, please. Appreciate it. There's Bruno here. I'll get back to the bigger screen. No. There's the bug. He is back. He likes to come back and forth into uh, the studio here. And then now it is Michelle went first last turn, so I'm going first this turn. And if you'll notice, Michelle, that's her bandada. And then I have mine here. And then we rinse and repeat, folks. Okay, I have the golden tailed sapphire and azure crowned hummingbirds. Ooh, and I have the Peruvian Sheertail and Violet Crowned Hummingbirds. It's cool. Uh, Dawson, I don't know, or I don't know, Chase and Dawson, if you want to talk about what's new in the uh, new art or if it's um, at that stage yet or if you, if you don't want to spoil it, but feel free to hang out and chat and let us know. Uh, so I'm going to go first so I can take one of these cards now. Um, I'm going to go and give one blue, two plus two, split two, two one black. Uh, for large straight. Ooh, I can do this. I want that large straight. Okay. So this is give one blue plus two, and then split minus two between black, and then four points for any colored large straight. That's six numbers. So I gotta go one through six. Um, so I've got two, three, four, five here. Um, I've gotta give a blue a, a plus two, so we'll make this one a six. And then a split minus two between black. So I'm gonna go four here. And we'll oh, do, nice. but this was five. Uh, then we'll do a six here. Okay, so I score this immediately. Let's look for a large straight. I've got, wait a second. Where was I? This was, darn it, what was it? Oh, man, I messed up. I wanted to split. Did I have a six here? Ah. I know I was reading the chat. Yeah, no, it's all good. Darn it. So I'm not going to score this one because I, I wasn't paying attention. I should have uh, brought this one to a, a one. Oh, top black was one. Thank you, Amanda. So I don't want to move that one. I want to move this one down to a five. Okay. Thank you, Amanda. You just saved me. You gave me four points. So <laughs> I have a one, two, three, four, five, six. That's four points for a large straight. Oh, wait. I messed up. This was a four. So eight points. And that's the end of my turn. Uh, Michelle now gets to choose here. Hey, Bruno. Look at, okay, so that middle card has the same scoring mechanism, sets of three in any color. Yeah. But the points are different. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And again, you're also doing a different action. So give one yellow plus two, split minus two between blue. Hey Bruno. Hey Bruno. Or flip two blue and you get a point for odd black. Oh. That would give me three points right there. Those sets conflict, so you probably don't want to go for both. Dawson says. Ah. Working on one of the things is having a layout card to hold the dice that associates them with the different food food icons, insects, berries, and oh cool. To help with any colorblind issues, yes, I love hearing that. I am I am red green colorblind. Also updating card layout art to use icons for different dice types instead of much text. Great choice. Thanks, Bruno. Um, okay, so I think I want to do this one right here. Can you help me? This one. Yeah. I okay. Got a plug. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna flip two blue. Flip two blue, and then she gets a point for every odd black. Okay, so um, I'm going to. So flip means it's got to go to the one that's on the yeah. complete opposite. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, goodness, Bruno. And I think they talk about the rule book. This is something uh, gamers probably know, but just in case, um, one, like the opposite side is going to equal seven. So one plus six is seven, and then like if it was a two, the opposite side would be five, and so forth. Okay, so let me see what I want to do up here. Yep. Okay, I want to flip this one. Okay. And... I guess I'll hey, flip this one. Okay. okay. So you score that bird immediately. Okay, so um, 
One for odd black, so one, two, three. Nice. So you have five points now. And it's the end of the round. Um, so now we score both of our cards. Okay, so you want to go first? Yeah. So I have one point per same colored pair. So I've got one, two points for <laughs> yellow. And then my second bird is four points for any large colored straight. So one, two, three, four, five, six for four points. That's 14. Okay. Oh, uh, Dawson is blind in one eye. So visions are always something I think of. We need more people that are cognizant of vision issues in game design. So I appreciate you, Dawson. Okay. okay. So again, one, two, three for my three odds. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, and then sets of three in any color. So I saw there were threes here. Nice. So that's one set. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then is there another six somewhere? No. Um, a five and a five. And there's an extra one. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I think it's that's it. Two. Okay. Yeah. So you had two. Okay, so I get two points. Nice. Okay. KS KG. Hello. Thank you for dropping by, friend. We are in round three of Bandada. Uh, so Michelle will go first this time. One, two, three. Then we're going to reshuffle the um, deck here. I'll do that there as a reminder. Okay. And rinse and repeat. We um, choose, do an action, score that bird. The other player goes, and then we score all our birds in our Bandada. Um, yeah, it's a lovely game. Um, uh, Kiski G. Uh, we, we really like it. I, I insta-backed it. Okay, so I might do that one. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give one black plus two. Then split uh, minus two between yellow. Will that help me? I, I, I'm not even sure. Which one? This one. Oh, that one. Uh, oh, I guess I should read the scoring. Yeah. So four points per same colored small straight. So there's a small straight here. Two, three, four, five. Oh, but then I have to ah, split. Yeah. I have to change the, yep. the die, and that's going to mess up my scoring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one. Reroll yeah. two yellow looks pretty nice because then you got point for every low yellow. Yeah. Okay, I think I, I am going to do that one. Nice. So just hope I get it. Yeah, threes are lower, right? Yeah. Good luck. Oh, Woo! nice. Good roll. Okay. So I scored that part immediately, no? Yeah. Can I uh, just show yeah. off the camera? Thanks. So Michelle scores this immediately for her new bird. One point per yellow under four, and they are all under four. Oh, wait, you're... I'm blue. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, hey, we're tied. Hey, tied. Nice. Okay. Uh, the deck is run out, but what I do is just reshuffle these and then throw one out there. Whoops. Oops. Upside down. Uh, give three blue plus one, one point per six. Mm. One point per even yellow. I've got two of those yellows. Flip one black. Okay. Give one black plus two, minus two split between yellows. Interesting. Ugh, what I can do is... Wow. One point per six. six. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm give three blues plus one. So one. Two. This will be a four. I want to roll this over to a one. One, two, three. Six. Yeah, I'm going to roll this over to a one. One point per six. I have one six for one point. Okay, and that's in my bandada. Now we score all of our birds in our bandadas. Messed up one of my things, uh -oh. you know? <laughs> okay. uh, you want to go first? Okay, yeah, so I get one <coughs> point per odd black. So one, two, three. Um, one, two, three. All I see is like Bruno's hair all over me. I know. <laughs> Okay, so here, um, sets of three in any color. So, there's not another two. Okay, so three, not another three. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, there ones. is. Oh, no, what? Yeah, yeah, no I have this one and that one. That's right. Okay, and then one, one, one. So, there's okay. one set. Yep. 
And then fours, no. Fives, no. Oh. oh no. You don't get anything for one Bummer, set. Bummer, no. Ouch. Okay, then a point per yellow less than four, and all of them are less than four. Nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, now my turn, I get one point for every six. There's one. So 15 to 16. Oh, great. Esquire JJR says just back the game after watching this playthrough. Looks great. Oh, nice. Thanks, Esquire JJ. Um, and then I get one point for same colored pair. So one, two, two points to 18. And this is what I'm trying to set up right here. Four points for any colored large straight, six numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's four points. Wow. That's 22. One, two, oh, that's done. So one, two. Oh, I'm missing. There's a three. I'm four. missing a six. Oh. It's got to be all six. Darn. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. We clear these out. Uh, this is the final round, so it is my turn to go first. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then we'll have to reshuffle these. Okay. So, same thing. This is the final round, folks. Uh, ooh, one point for one. Sets of three in any color. One point for black. Give one blue. One blue and one yellow. Now, give one, flip one yellow and one black. One. No. Sets of three. Give one. Okay. Let me try this one. Give one yellow plus two. Uh, so I'm going to give make this a five. And then uh, split minus two amongst a blue. Between blues. So I'm going to go this one. We'll make this a six. Uh. Ah! <laughs> make this a six and this a two. Are you messing me up? <laughs> I'm messing myself up. Okay. Uh, so I get sets of three in any color. One, two, three. One, or one, two, three. So that's. Wait. One, For the two. split, you can do minus two to one die or. Minus one to two dice. Oh, okay. Split you can do. Okay, that's good to know because I've been. I read it as you have to split minus two uh, between. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, well, I'm just gonna go with that. That's good to know though. Uh, so I've got one, two, one, two, and I don't have any other set. So I've got two sets, which gets me. Is it this one? Yeah, two points. Uh, yellow is nineteen. Was I on 22 or 19? Or 17? Oh my gosh. Was it right here? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, well, it's all good. Uh, that's the end of my turn, and Michelle will go. Oh, you need one more. Let me shuffle okay. these. Okay. Pretty even yellow. Okay, so. The mouse support has been great, but way one. more than expected. Awesome. How's it been? Oh, okay, cool, cool. What is this? Okay, so, ah, this mic. Okay. Like that has a solo mode as well. Yeah, Esquire, and I did play the solo mode. It's good. Really, it's uh, straightforward and um, solid little solo game as well. Again, I don't want to keep using that word little because this is chunkier and uh brain uh a little bit of brain burn too more than you would think so i, I really enjoy it <laughs> we're gonna call this one mean birds <laughs> mean, mean birds right <laughs> like our our what our favorite games uh arboretum we call that uh, mean birds or murder birds trees tree or murder trees <laughs> sorry murder trees okay um so if i flip one yellow and one black is that going to help? No, because I have to have a six to flip it. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a one. So none of those are going to help me there. Okay, flip one black and re-roll one blue. Mm -hmm. If I do that, if I flip this one, 
That will give me a three, which will get me points here. Mm -hmm. So I might have to do that one. Let's see. Running into the solo mode is probably my favorite part of the game, but I'm primarily... Oh, that's, that's, I, I was going to ask if you're a solo gamer at running games because I like the solo mode. <laughs> like, it's... The way you did the solo mode for me, my style, I love it. It's exactly what I like. I like very low upkeep, like AIs or whatever. I, I don't like referring to charts. I don't like doing like a bunch of different cleanup things and stuff. So I, I really appreciate what you did here for the um, uh, solo mode as well. Okay, so I get a point for even yellow. So two points. Okay. So I'm on 23. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of the game, but or the end of the round. So now we score all our birds in our bandada again. Uh, so I'll, I'll go first. Okay. So for my uh, one here, I score four points for any large straight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's four points. I don't think there's another large straight out there. So you basically you have to have two of them. So two, mm -hmm. two. Maybe there is. No, I'm missing a three. Darn it. Four points. So 23. You're missing a four, too. Uh, I have the one four for one straight, but I yeah, need, yeah. Basically, you need I needed two of every number to get two large mm -hmm. straights. Boo earns. Okay, next card is the Peruvian sheer tail, sheer tail and violet crown hummingbird. Uh, I get one point for same colored pair. So here's the same color, uh, here's the same color, and here's the same color. So one, two, three points for yellow. So two, three to twenty six, and then one point for every six, which are two of those. 28. And finally, sets of three to any color. Two, two, one, two. Oh, that's it. Darn it. Two sets for two points. So 30. And let me get these dice back for Michelle so she can do her thing. So that's the end of my bandada. Okay, so I get a point for odd black, and they are all odd. Ooh. So, one, two, three, four. It's going to be close, folks. Right? Is that 20? Am I on 27 or 32? Uh, 27. Okay. So, that's that one. So, it's a three in any color. So, there's... Six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's the fives. Uh-huh. Oh, and the twos. Yep. Okay. So, that's... Oh. Is this the one that hoses me? No. I get two points for that. Okay. Right? And that's... Yeah. Yep. Okay, so 29. Oh, so close. Okay. Oh, you're going gonna, you're gonna to crush me now. Okay, Darn it. So point per yellow, less than four. So that's one, two, three. Nice. So 30, 31, 32. And then one point per even yellow, which is two. Nice. 34. And that's the game, folks. Michelle, GG. There it is, 34 to... Uh, 30 by four points. Darn it. So we're, we're out of time, but what I wanted to show y'all is if we had hidden scoring, I'm just going to take two at random. Um, Michelle will have one. I will have one. Then you would add your uh, hidden score at the end game. This is um, additional. This one for me, at the end of the game, score the highest of these points equal to the total of the blue dice or three points for each four. So if we look at that, uh, three points for each four. I have one four here. That'll only be three points. But I can score 12, 16, 18 points for the total of blue. So that would have been huge. I would I would definitely go with that. So I'd have 18 points. What about you, Michelle? What would your hidden score have been? Okay, I'm not sure I understand this one. So points equal to the lowest five dice. Okay. So this one here, equal to the lowest. So you take the five lowest dice... Okay, so that would be one. Okay, so one, one, two, two, and two. Yep. Okay. So then you just told that that would have been eight points. So this oh, I did one. The other one. Yeah. So the other one's three point for each six. Okay, so there are two sixes, so that's an extra twelve points. No, no, it'll be three points for each six. So three oh. six points. So okay. the other way is actually more. Oh, yeah, yeah. At eight. So this is interesting because that's where you want to manipulate the dice to make the all the low ones like higher. Yeah. Oh, right? there's so many things to think about. Yeah, and this is the hidden scoring. And then, folks, this is what's cool. In the solo game, so you can play the solo game basically by doing the exact same thing we did, but instead of three cards, you do two. One for you, and then one for the the dummy, the the invisible player, right? 
He's not. They are not a dummy. They're invisible. Uh, and at the end of the game, you score as normal. What? I don't know if you could see this, but in the corner, there's a little score here for the solo. So this would be eight. You're going to have four cards, and that's what you're trying to beat at the end of the game. So you can have like 40 points, 30 points, whatever. Um, and that's how you try to beat the solo. And in the solo game, you can also add in the secret goals. So you just, you have, you're going to have your goal, and then you're going to randomly choose one for the uh, AI, and then the, they get those points as well. What are those are these cards? points here? Yeah. Oh, great question. So, folks, and this is, oh, I'm so, so that's the solo game. We played the two-player game. This is a one- or two-player game, about 20 minutes or so. These are great. These are the solo campaign, like the little solo, I forget what they call them. Uh, Chase, what do you call these exactly? Is it the solo adventure variant? These are little goals you're trying to um, complete the game. So you got a little flavor text here. You know, you stand in the corner of a busy train in Lagos, Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. Requirement, finish the game with the rose ring parakeet in your tableau and at least 35 points. So you're trying to wow. find the, a particular bird, the rose ring, um, in this case, the rose ring parakeet. Uh, you want to try to, you know, get them into your tableau, which I don't know where that rose... I didn't, I didn't here it is right it. here. It was one of the final ones. So you want this in your tableau or in your um, bandada, and you want to score 35 points or more to win. Uh, so that's... And they, uh, it's neat because they have the difficulty. This is Scenario 1 of Africa, difficulty 1. Scenario... Oh, that's the same thing. Then you have Scenario 2, a little tougher difficulty... Wow, even more restrictions. Yeah, and then <laughs> Guatemala, it's a difficulty of four, scenario one. Finish the game with Azure Crown Hummingbird in your tableau and finish with at least 38 points. Uh, scenarios are so cool. Yeah, I, I love that. And Oh, I thought I had that one. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought you did too. Okay. I think I just read it. Here's India, Sri Lanka. Here's a requirement. Uh, finish the game with the Indian Paradise Flycatcher in tableau and at least 48 points. Bonus, gain an extra five points at the end of the game if you also have the Loton Sunbird. And that's, these are the, there's a, as you can, uh, let me bring it up here. As you can see, there's a bunch of these solo uh, adventure variants, folks. Uh, Chase, uh, kudos to you, friend. You have done a wonderful job. Uh, this is his first game ever published. Yeah, I saw that. He put that in the chat. Yeah, uh, just amazing. And I believe you're a Southern California guy, so Southern California represent. Um, Southern California, the home of the 2020 Los Angeles <laughs> Lakers, 2020 Los Angeles Dodgers. The, you don't say. I do say. They are the champions of their respective sports. <laughs> go Lakers, go Dodgers. Um, yeah, this game, I, I love it. And you can see how easily, I feel like you could easily expand it with just new yeah. adventure variants and, you know, add more birds, just like Wingspan does. Um, add more birds, different scoring. Wonderful game. Uh, let, I'm going to, let's catch up on chat. Michelle, are we missing anyone in chat here? Esquire JJ says a lot of gaming in a small package. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. So, folks, check it out. Um, just you know, Google it. Uh, Bandada, the, uh, the card game. You can find it on Kickstarter easily. It's been fully funded, and they're already knocking out all the. They've knocked out um, upgrades. Uh, Dawson is here with us as well. Um, doing redoing the graphic design and they're from Oregon. Uh, Oregon. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Nice. Um, and I think uh, Chase was also talking about Marble Dice, was it? So yeah. Fancier Dice, well done. Uh, there's the link. Thank you, ben Amanda Panda, for linking that in the chat. So, folks, we played two fun games tonight. They're both dice-based, but as you can see, the di even though they're dice games, they're totally different than each other. Yeah, and it's not just one game. I feel like you get multiple games out of each well, each of them. Yeah, yeah, I, and that's what I love. Now, Bandata is a one or two. It's a one or two player game. I'm I'm loving the solo game already. And Michelle, you just played the two player game. I mean, it's yeah. For again, well, there's only a, a dozen or so cards, and it's just so thinky. It really is. You know, and I know you like puzzle type games, so yeah. I figured tonight was sort of like your jam. Yeah. yeah. Um, folks, thank you again for uh, hanging out. Uh, cohort, thank you, um, Dawson. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, yeah, check out the Kickstarter, folks. Wonderful, wonderful games. Uh, let's get ready to raid someone. That's it for Tabletop tonight. Tonight? <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll, I'll be back tomorrow night. I'm not sure if Michelle will be joining me or not. Again, um, depending on work schedules yeah. and everything. Um, I'm going to stream tomorrow and Thursday for sure. There may be something on Friday. I haven't decided yet. Actually, no, nothing on Friday because i got to uh, record something. Uh, but maybe on Saturday. We'll see. But I want to thank you all again. Folks, this is 
premiere episode of season 12. We now have, we started back in uh, March of last year here, uh, actually on Facebook Live, and we went over here to Twitch in June, and with from June till now, we have over a thousand followers, so thank you all. It's been really... I, I don't I, I don't I feel like I sort of sort of passed over some of our milestones like when we hit 500 I was like hey we got to celebrate hitting 500 and I, next thing you know it was like six seven and like y'all have been so supportive of us thank you again from the bottom of our hearts um, so we got to do something for a thousand followers and for a year of doing this you know well, I can't like even fathom a year I mean yeah. just, I know it's been a year yeah. but just time over the past year has been yeah just it's been just an something. idea <laughs> yeah it really has been. i don't even know i don't know what day it is right, right. i am constantly looking at the calendar yeah so it's been a year thank you again folks let's find someone to raid who is available to raid anyone let me see um uh, who do we got here oops uh vince is on bonds is on playing board games board game blitz is on defoob is on why don't we raid, uh, got rolling with Rock, was playing Pokemon, Defoob, uh, Board Game Blitz. We'll find someone to raid, folks. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna surprise you. We're gonna, uh, shut this down and then we're gonna raid someone. Thank you again. Have a great night. See y'all tomorrow. And until then, take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.